trying to remember if this is the Bowser I, I'm thinking of. And I'll say this, I think Bowser sucks. Um, <laughs> I don't care how good Leon does. Leon can be a genius, Leon can be great, but his character sucks. <laughs> Speaking of characters that suck, right now we got Kongidorf rocking the Ganondorf against Snake. This cannot be a matchup that is favorable for the big King of Darkness. Oh, he can go my. off stage with those Nairs, but if he doesn't connect, then he is liable to take Nikita seven or eight times in a row into a, a slow and painful death. And I'm pretty sure Kongidorf is aware as just keeping up all the pressure, saying, you know what, you're not going to put me in a situation for, to deal with the Nikita as long as, oh my, oh, that was so good. I thought we were going to see a second one. Um, um, but if you just keep Dark off stage, you don't have to worry about Nikita, but just one dash attack going to... Do you make it back? Does manage to do it and clears the ledge in the process. Really good recovery by Conkydorf. Then he just tries with the raw up and almost dies for it. That's really the problem right now is that at these kind of percents, Snake can just play passively because eventually he can just do that to you. Yeah. Tossy off stage, the grab is far less committal than a lot of the kill moves that Ganon's going to be throwing out. Look, trying to find that up smash a little bit late. Please oh, do it to him, Dark. Okay. Please do it to him, Dark. No, we don't even need the Nikita anymore. That spike came through. Fantastic stuff. And yes, Conky Dorf, you got the stock. You got the up B. But boy, are you trailing by quite a bit right now. Yeah, Dark plays aggressive offstage. Conky Dorf is going to have to have some kind of an answer right here. Gets a dash attack. Good combo there. I like the committal to the forward smash. Because, I mean, the only thing Snake can really do is just jump over that. And you're not going to get hit if he's going high this again with the up B. What's the punish? Doesn't get the forward air, though. He was going for something to cover the whole platform, just barely missing. Okay, still looking good there. C4 does blow up. Conkydorf definitely wearing. And right now, Conkydorf is doing a fantastic job. Yes, you got spiked at almost 0%, but uh, you've only taken 22 so far. Your opponent's at 142. As a matter of fact, it, you took a stock and only took 22%. You have to be terrified right now if you are supporting Dark at the moment. In these kind of spots, it feels like things have not gone Dark's way. When he gets Konkydorf in disadvantage, he's definitely got the W, but when you were in neutral, Konkydorf is actually beating the Snake. Yeah. Just really, really good awareness, evading a lot of things. The only, honestly, the only questionable thing really in a whole oh, big oh, damage. damage. In Konkydorf's gameplay is uh, the timing on some of these smash attacks, if I'm being honest. Everything else is pretty spot on. Oh, uh, you should have got up right away. Yeah, oh uh, hey, this, man, okay. this man held ledge is like, I have no idea what to do. And then he held out when he got hit with the Nikita. That is unfortunate. Kongidorf was doing a hell of a job of bringing that one back after the early spike. But yeah, that one interaction yeah. at ledge, that's all it takes. That was one of those, uh, my, my boy, are you getting in or not? You good? <laughs> yeah. You good? The bus is leaving, okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, because you did the right thing. You held the ledge, you avoided the first Nikita, and now you had to get up, and Snake is that far away. There's nothing Snake could have done in that position. Exactly. You know, stand up, hold the shield, and then continue that ass whooping you were doing. Unfortunately, though, did not pan out that well for Conkydorf, but you definitely have to have a lot of confidence after the way that match went, especially because you got spiked at such a low percent. All right, moving on to this one, we are kind of seeing Dark play a lot more passively, and I think that is the way to go. It's all about just getting these grenades going. It's like, if you actually want to trade with me, that's fine, but I have to make sure that I'm actually just dealing some damage to you. Cypher gets snuffed out by that forward air. Dark does not have a double jump, and then he just drifts ever so slowly into that up smash. We're seeing a lot more ledge pressure from Kongidorf, and this is looking a little bit grim for Dark. He can't get out of the corner. Yeah. Oh, beautiful bait right there, Conkydorf. One hop, Dark, what you gonna do? Oh yeah, swung, too bad, my friend. Double jump coming down with the forward air. Beautiful. It feels, it feels like whenever Conkydorf gets in, Dark has no idea what to do. Yeah. He's terrified of like Ganondorf's close range options, and he's not swinging preemptively at all. He's just kind of taking it on the chin. I mean, Snake is heavy, but Ganondorf doesn't care about your weight. This is holy food. Again, using his jump, going high off the Cypher, resetting neutral. Great plant on the C4. I don't know if that was a timer thing or if Dark detonated it. I'm not sure either. Definitely caught me off guard. Yep, going to turn around, get that punish. Oh, knew exactly where you're going, but timed it incorrectly. Dark living on borrowed time. Maybe one up to the way. It's hard to say, but uh, Honky Dork still with three socks. And already 83% too. So this is kill percent here. Okay, he makes why? the wrong move. Okay, look, these Star Smash attacks are terrifying, my friend. Nikita, are we going to get up? We did. He's learned. Yes. Ooh, good back air. I don't know if you're recovering this time. Yeah. No. Going to be difficult. 
This man has all the time in the world when Ganondorf just drifts slowly out of that upbeat to place the Makita in the perfect spot. Tries to fight over the grenade. It does a... Okay, I like the option with Ganondorf. Doesn't quite connect, but... Yeah, Dark, you can't keep rolling through him. He did that yep. three times in a row. Absolutely. And uh, Konkidorf kind of gave a warning with the last one when uh, Konkidorf did the side B, turned around, and just happened to misplace the oh, punch. No. Oh, are, are you making it back? Oh, he did. Scary. But um, yeah, Konkidorf <laughs> clearly aware. <laughs> I love the grenade just ending up extending Konkidorf's combo right there with the roll through and the side B. Are we going to go for downer? We are not. I like that option from... Do oh, Dark. I don't like that one. C4? No, yeah. not a chance. Kongidorf will go down there and chase you to the depths. Yeah, a little bit of a tech flub, unfortunately, for Dark and ending with a game two loss because of it. Kongidorf brings the game three. Um, you got to definitely be feeling yourself very confident right now. If you're Dark, you have to kind of reevaluate some of the options, most notably when you get side B. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Sometimes roll right, sometimes left. How about this? Sometimes tech. Yeah. Um, if you are, you know, you got to think about maybe your game plan needs to be just to get your opponent off stage. Maybe not really try to go for these trades because Conky Dorf is doing such a good job of essentially fighting once he's in. But Conky Dorf isn't actively always trying to go in. And that's where, where most of Dark's damage is coming from is when Conky Dorf for some reason mm -hmm. sits back and just run away. You don't have to fight. Right now you're here, I'm leaving. It also feels like Dark is throwing a lot of grenades out instead of just throwing them up and securing space in front of him. He's yeah. trying to like claim horizontal space and Kongidor just waits for the grenades to be away from Dark and then charges in. Speaking of charging in, already 72% on Dark. He tries to set up his ledge trap, but the up smash not quite working due to the platform. Great spacing to avoid that side B though. Yeah, and it's... I mean, Dark, you got to get Konkidorf off stage. You got to go for one of those forward airs. Scare him. Make him a little shook. You need one of these early stocks because it's looking rough right now. Are we going to wait for an air dodge? No, just casually gets to the ledge. Good awareness by Dark. Okay, this could be huge. Nikita time. Are we going to hit it? We got one. Did a we get one? number two? We do, but it goes the other way. Konkidorf now on borrow time. And I spoke too soon as you get hit by a third. Dark just keeps committing to it. <laughs> that was definitely not the optimal. Okay, Dark. Dark, hello? Yes, uh, no. That grenade working out. Okay, this might be it. No double. Yeah, that is all it takes. Ganondorf off stage with no jumps is easy prey for Snake's arsenal. Wait, what are you doing down there? He goes for the lower cover again, but this time it actually works out. The forward smash only, excuse me, forward air only beats out Cypher. And look at the combos right here. 50% oh. from two moves. Yeah. That's what Snake privilege. Dark definitely getting back in this. He is the projectiles coming in. This is what you want to do if you are dark. On a bigger stage, yeah, tons of room to run. He's just grabbing a grenade this time. He falls back, cooks it a little bit, and then tosses it at a slow arc in Kongidor. He doesn't know what to yeah. do. Uh, you, you can't stay there, though. We saw what happened last time. You, okay, all right, all right. We, we've out. learned, we've learned. Side B? No, he you run into get grabbed instead, and dark is up three stocks to one. Kongidor says, hi, mom, but you might want to tell her to turn off the stream right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great grab by the up B, though. So this, we've seen this story before, Logic, and Kongi very nearly brought it all the way back in game one. So the question is, can he finish? Does he have another one of those momentum swings in his pocket? Yeah. We will find out. It's definitely going to be difficult. I'd love to say, you know, look for a spike, but you've hit one the entire set, and it doesn't look like it's practical, at least not against Dark. <laughs> but Dark is saying, you know, I'll do the forward air, though. I'll get the spikes. He is playing aggressive now. He's got a ton of confidence. Dark definitely feels like one of those players where if the emotion is on his side, he's a lot harder to play against. Yeah, and this is looking difficult. You're at 121. You're off stage. I don't know how you made it back right there, but even a charge smash attack isn't going to take it right now. Good stuff. Which way? Oh, you were kind of... double roll. Yeah. <laughs> Should charge a little bit longer. All right, Conky Dark. Dark is adapting. Good air dodge. Fantastic recovery there. Ooh! Snuck that one in there. Ducked underneath Kogidor's two aggressive aerials. This man was definitely swinging, trying to get that kill, and the aggression not paying off in that situation. Yeah. And uh, it was entertaining. It was close until it wasn't. Um, 
you know, if you're Conquador, if you really got to be thinking about that game number one when you got spiked so early, mm -hmm. and then game number two went well, and game three, you were doing okay, but things got out of hand so quickly. Oh, yeah. It feels like Dark is one of those players that he, he takes some time to adapt. He recognized eventually what he was doing wrong. He recognized that his defensive game plan was not working out, even in the game that he won in game two. And it just felt like game three was like night and day. He just changed yeah. something, and Kagi had no answer all of a sudden. Yeah, it's... I don't even know what the answer was because, I mean, Dark started doing what makes the matchup difficult. Hey, here's in.